So in the beginning of the year, my team and I were invited to a seminar uh, that was led by the Arduino co-founder, David Cortielis. If you don't know what Arduinos are, they are microcontrollers that you program to do cool projects using various modules and sensors. For example, here's a picture I took of an MIT student who led a workshop on Arduinos. Using Arduinos and sensors, students created a mechanical robot hand that was controlled by a glove. So the seminar was really cool because we got to see examples of ways Arduinos were being used in the classroom. Also got to do a hands-on project with the Arduinos, starting with some exercises to introduce us to the tool. It was a great way to see how this free hardware platform can help students learn about programming and foster their creativity. Here's what I love about Arduinos and what other edtech startups should be doing and is starting to do. Tools like Arduinos allow students to do what they think up. So when we design real-world learning experiences, we give students authentic complex problems and questions to solve and answer. Students always come up with amazing creative ideas for these problems and questions, but oftentimes educators tell them it's not possible or, or how are we going to make that. But tools like these allow them to make their ideas into reality, something that could be tested and elicit feedback. For example, one product I've used is the Hummingbird Duo. BirdBrain Technologies made modifications to an Arduino so that students can program the microcontroller to create mechanical objects with the simple block programming language Scratch. I asked my fourth graders to design and build a mechanical festival float for a holiday. Previously, they would make a model of a float or sketch a picture of one, but that's about it. The mechanical parts would be theoretical. However, with the Hummingbird Duo, students were actually able to program sensors, motors, and other components to make their ideas into reality. So edtech startups and companies out there, please don't create products where it just explains exactly what the students have to do. Yes, make instructions for them to create basic things so that they have a foundation, but don't provide them with a step-by-step -step project that discourages creativity. And educators, please avoid well-defined, closed-ended projects that have only one way of doing things. Design open-ended, problem-solving projects that can result in multiple solutions, encouraging innovation and creative problem-solving. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.